For those of you who are married, please don't forget your single friends. Don't forget the singles who come into your life now. Sometimes we get through a different stage of life and we forget about the people who are not there yet. It's a tremendous, tremendous mitzvah to help people to get married. But it's also a responsibility. So I'm going to pass on some advice that I give singles to help them to get married. And they, you know, I've been blessed with the ability sometimes to match people up and they're all still happily married today. But here's some tricks of the trade. So one is, you have to tell the singles in your life, be open. You have to be open. And sometimes the older they get, the more closed they become. You have to be open. Believe me, my husband is not anything like I thought I would marry. If I was closed and said, only this, only this, only this, we wouldn't be married today. And I think my husband had to be open to marry me, that's for sure. So that's one thing, be open. Also, do your homework. This is your life. Be a sleuth. Check the person out. Even before I went out with my husband, I checked him out. I talked to his rabbi. I talked to his roommate. I talked to his best friend. I talked to the person he wasn't best friends with. They had some conflict. And everybody had tremendous things to say. Check him or her out. You could save a lot of time and a lot of pain, a lot of emotion, if you see that the person really has qualities that you're looking for. But again, be open. Maybe they're not coming in the package that you thought. Be open. All right. The next trick is, the next tip is the three date rule. We always tell people, unless you're disgusted by the person, you always go out three times. I think we spoke about this in the past a little bit. Why? Because the first time, you're very nervous. The second time, you're a little bit more relaxed. By the third time, hopefully you really are yourself. And then you can make a decision. Don't make a decision based on the fact, uh, in a place where you're nervous, and for sure they were nervous. So they're not at their best, and they're not themselves. You want to give it time. The three, and believe me, if I hadn't had three dates with my husband, we would not be married today. All right? I had to be pushed. And it's good. It's good to have somebody objective helping you. Now, the last point is about being yourself. It's very, very important that the person you marry, that you feel yourself with them, and you feel good about yourself with them. There's something about them that's bringing that out in you. If you don't feel yourself, this isn't it. All right, so again, if you're married, please help singles get together. Please introduce them, even if it doesn't work out, they still appreciated that you tried. I'm Lori, Almost Live.